I want to show you something that might actually shock you if you own your own business or even if you work from home. And that is, what is your carbon footprint when it comes to printing? Well, the folks at HP have actually come out with a carbon footprint calculator. You put in a bunch of information and it actually shows you not only how big your carbon footprint is, but also how much money you actually spend per person every year on printing. I'm going to show you how that works using Get Connected as an example based on how many printers we use and how many people that we have. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the website hp.com forward slash go forward slash carbon footprint. Once you're at the website, you'll see that there's a few different things that you can look at. What I want to look at is how we can do a quick evaluation of what we're using in terms of our carbon footprint. So first we're going to put in our location. I'm going to put in Canada and I'm going to put in the Canadian dollar as well. The next thing it's going to ask you is how many employees do you have in your business? Well, we're going to select 13. And then it says how many pages per person typically are used? Well, out of a research study, they show that 10,000 pages a year are used for printing. So that's a good average when it comes to how many pages a person prints in your business. The next thing it says is how many printers do you use in your business? Well, we use two printers and we don't use desktop printers. We actually use a medium sized printer, so I'll put that in. It's gonna ask me a couple more questions. Do you practice any energy saving or carbon saving activities? I'm gonna say no to that because we don't. And right away, it's gonna show the results. You can actually see by implementing just a few small changes in your business, the difference not only in your carbon footprint, but in the money that you can save every year. Some really simple things like turning the printer off at the end of each day. By turning it off, you're already gonna be saving some money and some energy. But there's a few more things you can do as well. You could be doing what's called duplex printing. This mid-size printer from HP, the Office Jet Pro 8500, has built-in duplexing. This means that you can print on one side of the paper and the other side of the paper, and that's out of the box. The other thing that you can do is something called pull printing. You'll find this in a lot of businesses as well. When people are printing over a network printer, you actually have to go to the printer, put in a code to retrieve your print job. What that means is that only the people who meant to print will really be pulling those documents off, and at the end of the day, all those other print jobs can just be erased. You'd be surprised at how many businesses print stuff, but don't actually ever go to the printer to pick it up. The other thing that you can do here is what's called smart web printing, and that's a great feature. This is something that HP came out with, which allows you to actually cut certain sections of websites that you want to print and put them on a little clipboard. This allows you to avoid printing all those extra pages that you don't really need when you're only looking for key information from smart web printing. So let's look at our results here. Just by implementing a few of those changes, we've cut down our energy, we've cut down the amount of emissions that we're making, and at the end of the day, we've also saved bottom line dollars in our business. It's simple to use. It's called the HP Carbon Footprint Calculator, and I definitely recommend checking out that website if you wanna see not only how much you're taking up, but how much you can save in the future. Gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get.